Welcome back on my Rockstars to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke here in this awesome, awesome game. I've been having a great time with the series, and I'm super, super excited to go ahead and continue it. So, let's go ahead, and we need to get our next encounter. So, last time, we took on... Did we take on Team Galactic, or did I save that? I think I might have saved that. So, help, help train it. Yeah, I definitely say Team Galactic. So, we need to take on Team Galactic, and then we can make our way to Eternal City. Put you those... Please go get my pup up for me. He works at the Valley Windworks. But the people just like space aliens <laughs> are mean and won't let me in. Uh, you mean them? These these evil people? Okay, so if that is true, I need to activate the situation by going over here. Oh, actually, do I, I don't have a Valley Windworks encounter yet. So that is something we can go ahead and get right now before we make everything. Let's go ahead and see what we... I did not want that. So we can actually go ahead and get our Valley Windworks encounter. So let's go ahead and see what we can get here before we move on. Come on, give me something I don't have. I don't know what I could actually get. Gee, ooh, a wild shell. Shell us actually isn't all that bad. It can become Gastrodon, which I know Cynthia uses, and it can become extremely powerful. So I think this is definitely a good capture, but I don't have a Pokemon that can damage it. So we're just going to go all in with Pokeball here and hopefully that we can catch it on shallows please make our life easy it's the pink one too i would like the blue one but i think that spawns in a different route and boom that's another pokemon down coolios uh, i don't know if i want to add it to the team yet i do like the actual layout of the team right now i'll probably get rid of my chop or yeah or doctor next but i'm not exactly sure overall but we do need to go ahead and name this beautiful new Pokemon after a great commenter. So who I want to name this after is going to be our good old buddy. Uh, she has been actually a brand new uh, commenter and subscriber to the channel. She's been really supportive and she's loving the Crazy Craft series. I hope she checks out the Pokemon series as well. It's going to be Twilight Skies. So thank you so much, so much for your support. But this is a water type. I don't remember. It evolves into a different typing as well. So it's water something, right? Is it water ground? I think it becomes. So that it would be a actually a fairly good Pokemon to have on the squad. So let's go ahead and make sure I spell this right. Yeah, Twilight. Wait, right? Uh, no, I, I spelled it wrong. I, apparently, I don't know how to spell Twilight. There we go. Skies. Thank you so much for the comments. I'm so glad you're enjoying the Crazy Craft series. Oh, I can't fit Twilight. So it's going to be Sky without the S at the end of it. I'm oh, sorry. It don't fit. Uh, we'll, we'll send it to the box for now, but it's definitely a possibility that we can add it to the team so much. So I'm so glad that you're enjoying the Crazy Craft series. But at this point, it, this video comes out. I'm sorry that the Crazy Craft series has ended. I had a lot of issues with it overall and some things were happening, but I hope you enjoy the new series coming up. And I plan on doing Crazy Craft 4 or Insane Craft when I have a computer or access to those mod packs because currently I don't have access to actual uh, Insane Craft. It's still a locked off mod pack. So, Grunt, I got orders to keep everyone out up and then if they're not a part of Team Galactic, you give me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it. I mean, I'll battle you all you want. You're a piece of cake. Team Galactic's a joke in my book. And besides, when they have so many poison Pokemon, it's annoying. That's really the issue. But poisoning Pokemon actually isn't a big issue since we're not running a Torterra since it's a grass type. And we're not doing a only Torterra on a Nuzlocke. So let's go ahead and... Glamia, what type is Glamia again? Glamia is normal, right? So let's go ahead and just go in with a water gun. Come on. Used fake out. That's a guaranteed priority move. So we can't do anything about that. Flinch and couldn't move. Now that just sucks overall. Come on. Let's try this again. Please, please, please. Come on, come on, come on. I don't. One shot this thing. One shot this thing. Lower my attack all you want. That means I'm going to stick with water gun because it's a special attack. Ooh, it was very close to one shotting it. Way to go, Nick Curry. Let's go ahead and go with another water gun here. And that will finish off this claim out without a problem. Then we got to go back to the flower fields and get the key from the other Team Galactic members, which they dropped for some reason at all they're very uh bad with their items in pokemon games you know enemy teams always seem to drop key cards or elevators or keys that you need to get into certain buildings they're just very very poorly handled but i mean i guess they are teenagers technically in the game so i guess that's why yeah like i'm really supposed to win with a pokemon like this 
you've got $704. I'll take you $704. You know, you're just a bad Pokemon trainer. It doesn't matter what Pokemon you have. You just gotta be smart about it. Isn't that great? Getting owned by some kid. You can't do a thing if I lock myself with the works key. That's right. The other works key's not here. My co-works in the flower patch have the only other one. Ha ha ha. In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Uh, trust me. I'll be back in like two minutes. You'll be a big loser. Trust me, dude. You will not enjoy it at all. See, now they were here earlier. They're gone now. So let's go ahead and come back here. They're bothering an old man, if I remember. Flamora Meadow. Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, King Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is the witness, what we'll do? We can't have that brat running off to get help. The solution's simple, we must ensure the brat stays quiet. Why do you think having a Pokemon battle with me is going to ensure that I stay quiet? If anything, it's a more motivation to go tell someone, but I'll, I'll take care of you on my own. I'm not worried about that at all. Seriously, a Wurmple, you can't even get that up to, what, Silcoon? Yeah, you can't get that up to a Silcoon. It's at least next of all form. What's wrong with you, bro? No, it's Cascoon, because Cascoon becomes either Dust Dox or Beauty Fly, and that's what it is. Okay, uh, Peck, easy peasy. It's super effective. Let's go all in. It should one-shot this thing based off levels and super effectiveness. Yeah, easy wipe off the floor. And you're done for the count. Sorry, you're, you're just a trash Pokemon trainer. What can I say? I like our team. It's looking really, really good. Daniel's falling behind on levels, but he'll get up there. Still, can we switch out your Pokemon? I mean, we could switch out our Pokemon. It doesn't really make a difference. I think we just stay in with a oh boy Piplup because it doesn't make much of a difference here. We've got the advantage in everything here, so there's no reason to switch out. Plus, Piplup on oh my boy, so we want to make sure he's got the most levels in all reality. The starters are just a really good, guarantee, solid Pokemon to have. I'm gonna use Harden. I mean, technically, you know, that makes sense. It really, really does, but it's not gonna be enough for you. I'm sorry, another peck will finish you off no matter how much you do that. So, boom, there we go. Finished off that Silcoon. Give me your Windworks key so I can go save that little girl's papa. Give me the key. Give it. Give it to me. You defeated Team Galactic Grunt. Thank you. I, I knew I did. You didn't have to tell me that. Why am I gonna be stuck as a grunt forever? I mean, maybe because you're a bad person and you suck at Pokemon battles. This is so lame. They're going to dock my pay. What do they pay you guys? You're an evil organization. I'm really curious about that. I'm up next. <laughs> That's such a weird laugh in context. Battling you right after my cohort has weakened you gives me the edge. He got a single hit. A single hit on me. I think. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, no, not even a single hit. The other Pokemon uh, grunt from the other section did get a hit on me. But, I mean, I'm still too over-leveled for you guys. Come on out. Piblup, you're gonna take down this Zubat like it's nothing on a rainy day. So let's go ahead and Metal Claw it up. Let's go, Metal Claw. You got this. And how much is that gonna do? That did solid, solid damage. Use Astonish. There we go, and that only did like, what, five damage to me? Not even, we just go ahead and finish him off with another Metal Claw. You're trash, Team Rocket. I about said Team Rocket, they're trash too. Team Galactic, you're trash. There we go, perfect. And almost level 17 for our boy Pipla. That's nice as well, only if I had some decent Pokemon. It's not about the Pokemon you have, unless it's a game. If it was real life Pokemon, like in the anime, it wouldn't matter what Pokemon you have, because that's all strategy. This rat's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. Really? You just used the word really like three times in a row, and you say you have know a lot of words? I think you're a big fat liar, that's what I think. We're done for now, let's go back to the Valley Woodworks. I mean, you can go back all you want, bro, but it ain't happening. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key, it must be for Valley Woodworks. It's of no use to me, you may as well have it. You obtain the works key. And why does the old man give us the works key? I don't understand it, but I'll take it. And you're gonna give us honey too. Actually, yeah, the honey's really, really good because uh, the last part I got to it in the pup up only Nuzlocke, which I do apologize for the quality of that video, guys. I will be having a second part to it for spoilers. I think this video comes out after or before. I'm actually not sure. I don't have the date for that one planned out yet. And but we will be fixing that. So you saw the honey on a sweet smelling tree it might attract Pokemon. Yeah, that's very very good It's locked from the inside. Would you like to use the key? Yes I would like to use the works key, please. There we go. Perfect. Now we have gun inside. So we have to face uh, It's Mars, right? Commander Mars or is it Commander Jupiter? I can never remember which is first. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. You can go ahead and alert the commander because I'm going to warp your commander's butt off the floor in a Pokemon battle. Especially with all your little grunts I have to face along the way. You're going to give me all the XP I need. 
and that will make my life so much easier because so far we're rocking zero deaths in this nuzlocke and this is what episode five i believe and it's awesome i like i know we're not very far into the game yet we haven't got a second badge or anything but i'm happy that we have no deaths so far it makes me more confident so cascoon we'll just go ahead and stick with peck I faced one of these before, so I don't understand why it's not giving me the super effective options and the not very effective options like it's supposed to. I mean, I'm not gonna. Comp I doesn't make a difference, so I guess I don't need to complain because I know it's super effective. But at the same time, I don't understand why. Let's go for it again. Come on, Peck, and it should finish off this Cascoon. There we go. And well, that was his only Pokemon, right? So we can actually move on now. Is there is there any loot in here? I'd like to get some more free potions so I don't have to worry about anything or waste my money so I can make sure I have enough Pokeballs. That'd be really, really nice too. Ooh, Doctor's level 14. He'll become a Graveler soon, right? 20-somethings when he becomes a Graveler? I think. You messed up my job. Now I'm gonna get not gonna get a bonus. I don't know what bonus you're getting, but sure, I, I'll take away your bonus. It's not worth anything to me at all. Let's go ahead and, ooh, he got another guy we can fight here. Come on, give me that experience. A collecting electricity from the Valley Windworks, that's our mission. Thank you for just giving out your information. I really, really appreciate it. It's really nice when you just, bad guys just tell you what they're doing. So you've got a single Pokemon as well. You got, you got a, another Wurmple, bro. It's a single stage, it's not a single stage evolution, but it's a base stage evolution. Bro. What is wrong with you? You're not even gonna train the guy? Oh, he's got two Pokemon. Well, a Peck will finish this Wurmple off in a single shot. And I'm gonna guess that he has a Zubat. Maybe a Cascoon next, but I, I'm thinking he has a Zubat since he already has a Wurmple, but... Oh, please don't. Okay, no poison. I was really, really worried about the poison. And let's go ahead and finish off this Wurmple. I'm surprised we didn't one-shot it, but, I mean, hey, we're still gonna easy-peasy get past this thing. Wurmple has fainted. What do you got next, big boy? You think you're all big and bad? What do you got? Glammy out. Okay, uh, sure. We don't, we'll switch Pokemon just to switch it up. Well, come on in, Staravia. And I know I favor Piplup and probably Staravia the most, but at the same time, two of my Pokemon on my team are literally trade evolution, so I can't do anything with them in a single player game. So it's kind of hard. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about this here. And Intimidate's going to lower its attack, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and go in. Uh, wing attack is actually pretty effective, plus stab, so I think we stick with that. Fake out's got priority, can't do anything about that. This, I, uh, why do you always get the flinch? I swear, every time, flinch is guaranteed for the first fake out, and it doesn't make much sense. There we go, nearly finished it off. Use growl, you're gonna lower our attack. It doesn't matter, you're dead on the next turn, bro. I don't know what you're thinking, but you are a bad, bad Pokemon trainer. Quick attack, let's go. Finish him off, easy. Boom, look at that, Glammeo is down for the count. Thank you for the free experience. You make my life much, much easier, because I'm not gonna pass up on any free experience in a Nuzlocke. I've done that before, and it's really screwed me over, so I'm gonna make sure I don't do that this time. I really don't like kids who also happen to be tough trainers. Well, it's just because you're a bad trainer, so you don't like uh, people being better than you just because you suck at your job. I am one Team Galactic 3 Commanders. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. I mean, fine by me, because you're going to get your floor wiped with you. Commander Mars, it was Mars, so I think I called it right. Perfect. Zubat, that's such a weak. You should have at least a gold bat. I mean, actually not really, because you're only like level 11. But, you know, I mean, you're, st you're still joked. You're, you're still a joke. But you're never going to get it to a Crobat, and I know that because Crobat needs happiness, and no way a evil team could give happiness to a Pokemon. Okay, Supersonic's not going to be nice. Please, Confusion, don't screw us over here. Come on, get through it, get through it. No, dang it, it's going to confuse us and hurt us. That sucks so much. Okay, that is no fun. Well, I don't want to deal with Confusion, so let's go ahead and bring out Emma. Oh, Shinx. I like Shinx a lot, so let's go ahead and switch it out. One of my other, Lux, Luxray is Lexio and Luxray are probably, I don't know, my third favorite type for uh, non-legendary or pseudo-legendary electric types. I'm, I'm really unsure about it, but I do like that one a lot. Ooh, we both pulled a switch out. Pure ugly. Well, it is really, really ugly with a big fat chest thing, whatever it is, that tiny head. It's such an awkward body shape. Let's go, Thundershock. 
I don't know how much this is gonna do, but please don't flinch me. Please don't flinch me. And that hurt a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna switch out again. Come on out, Staravia. So Shinx was a bad move. Uh, once Shinx evolves, it's gonna be a lot a tougher once it's Lexio. And then eventually Luxray will make it a lot better. So Staravia, let's go ahead and lower that attack. Fake out sucks so much. Get that flinch and it just did so much damage. You scratch, fine by me, that's not going to do anything to my Staravia. Let's go ahead and go with a good old wing attack on here to make sure we have that stab damage. Hey, that one hurt a little bit more. Let's go wing attack. Uh, did a little bit of damage, but it is kind of concerning. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Uh, I'm whooping them in a Pokemon battle. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more wing attack, and then we're going to heal after this. Grout, great. Lower our attack, that's fine. I'll take it over HP damage, because that means I can heal make sure I have full HP still. We can attack, let's go, and there we go, that's solid damage. Okay, and that's going to eat up its berry, which really sucks, but, I mean, it's, it's going to be fine. Uh, confusion, actually, it, Confusion is a status that's switched out on turn, so we could probably switch out the Piplup. Let's go ahead and use a potion just to be sure on our Staravia to make sure it's not going to faint from a critical hit or anything. Because that would really, really suck. Um, I know I could get it again for a dupes clause, and it would be worth it, because Star Raptor's really good, but at the same time, I'm trying not to, you know, have his deaths. I'm trying to get as little deaths as possible. Alright, no, I don't want the bag. Let's go ahead and battle. Um, do we want to... I mean, they're all physical attacks, and he keeps losing my attack. I could get double teamed so we can raise our evasiveness, but I think we just stick with a good old wing attack. Thief, I don't have an item on me, so it's not going to do as much damage. Thank you, wing attack. Let's go. Perfect. Okay, back down to where we were before. Another wing attack. Let's keep this up. It's scratch. That's going to hurt. How much is that going to do? Okay, damage, but we got this. Come on. Okay, one more wing attack should finish it off. Let's go, Staravia. You got this. Thief isn't going to do anything to me. Yeah, uh, seven damage actually isn't all that bad, but come on, wing attack. Finish him off. Finish him off. No, it was so close. Okay, quick attack should be plenty to finish this guy off now. Let's go. There we go, perfect. Pure Ugly's down, which is fine, because Zubat is a washover compared to Pure Ugly. Pure Ugly can be a bit tanky, and that's kind of the problem with it. Oh wow, a lot of people leveled up there, jeesh. Okay, well, jeesh, oh my god. Everyone got a couple levels, that's fantastic. Zubat, yeah, you know what, we'll go ahead and switch. Zubat technically has the advantage on uh, some of these. You know what, we'll send in Doctor, would Ball work? Because it's a flying, I mean, you know, we could send in our own Zubat, but at the same time, I don't think that'd be worth it. But we'll send back in Piplup, because our attack has been lowered a bunch, and this should have our confusion wiped away from before, so Piplup should be fine. Machop isn't just gonna, isn't gonna do much to a poison flying type, so it's not worth sending him in. Level 14 as well, okay, so let's go ahead and let's go with a Metal Claw, should be pretty effective, come on. How much is that gonna do? Solid damage out of a third of its HP. I will take it. Not another supersonic. Stop with your confusion. Is that your only move you know how to do? Jeesh. What is wrong with you? I get that it's a technically a really smart strategy, but it's annoying. U turn. Ouch. That's actually not going to do quite as much as I thought it was going to. Come on. Just get rid of the confusion, please, please, please. Yes. A way to get through that confusion. Come on. Okay. One more hit, and this thing's down for the count. Let's just go ahead and go with the water gun because it's stabbed. Opposing use U turn, go ahead and go for it. We're gonna be fine. There we go. We definitely have to go to the Pokemon Center after that. Get to the confusion. No, we got confused. That hurt a lot. Okay. Ouch. That's definitely no good. Well, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we don't die here. And we're gonna heal up our boy. Come on, a potion. There we go. Get back up to what? 37 HP? I will take that. 37 out of 52 is not all that bad. What's he gotta do? Another U turn? Thought so. And we'll be above 30 still? Yeah. Okay, we're fine. Okay, let's go ahead and go for any move, actually. So, we'll just go for Water Gun. It's no big deal. Absorb. You're going to try to heal up. Well, I mean, I guess I could have gone for another move because that technically that's super effective. And it's going to work a bunch on me. Or not. That did nothing. Maybe because it snapped. Yes, we snapped out of confusion. Okay, Water Gun, let's go. There we go. Finished off that Zubat. Easy peasy. And that is Team Commander Mars down for the count. Giving Emma level 16 as well. I think it might evolve at this point. Ooh, Spark, forget an old move. Okay, Spark does 65, 100 accuracy. Thundershock does 40, 100. I like Tackle because it's normal move. Charge is good. And it's only 10 less PP. I think we, yeah, I think we definitely switch it out. Because you gotta remember, most moves we need to attack for, for it to be a Nuzlocke, especially when we get the Elite Four for PP. 
up or aka power points but at the same time if we have something like charge or whatever which raises our stats for attacking and special attack it's well worth it as well because it means we have to we can use less moves this can't be i lost you you annoying brat i'm the annoying brat you're the annoying brat you sat there and claimed no one listens to you but you don't explain yourself so that makes you annoying that's my that's that's my uh, keynote for today. Yes, Shinx is evolving. Emma is evolving. Come on, give me my Luxie. Yo, it's gonna make it so much stronger and much, much more useful in battle as well. It's so nice. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations. Emma has evolved into Luxie. Oh, making our lives much, much better. Okay. Yes, go ahead and add it to the Pokedex, please, and thank you. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave the time being. Team Galactic, they were saying they had to gra gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe or something. Nothing they said made sort of sense to me. Anyway, I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck, Papa, you're so stinky. Go shower now, stinky. Reminds me of Andrew Leakin and his daughter. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, not his daughter, but his uh, um, Judith from Walking Dead. I love that show. It's really, really funny. Oh, ha. Sorry. Ah, ha, ha, ha. They had me working nonstop. Thank you, Trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. I'm assuming they mean Drifloom. Drifloom is, a, you know, as far as I know, the only balloon described Pokemon. I mean, I may be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So now we can go heal up and get our Pokemon encounter from Route 205. Okay, our encounter from Route 205 is gonna be... Shell off, so it's dupe claws. I don't need it. I mean, I could capture it again, but it's not worth it. So hopefully we can get something different. At least now I know we're getting into the point where I can actually get other Pokemon. Because I got to the point where I was getting Pokemon. I knew I was going to get in the route, but they were always the same. You know what? Actually, I might head farther into the route. An X attack. Interesting. But X attack and battle items. I could get my encounter from here. If I get shell offs again, I might go farther into the route. Ooh, yay! Encountered a Butzel. I love Butzel. Floatzel, so cool. But the issue is water types. There are so many water types. Ah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, and capture this guy. Come on. Pokeball, please. Let's go ahead. Butzel, let's go. One. Two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three. There we go. Butzel. And Butzel was caught. Thank you. And added to the Pokedex. So we're going to go ahead and name this after our buddy Omnipotence. A good old longtime fan on the channel. So let's go ahead and go. We're just going to name him Omni because I know Potence won't fit on the board. So thank you for the support on my channel, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, add to your party. You know, yeah, we'll add him to the party. Select a Pokemon to swap. We'll get rid of, honestly, I don't know who I should get rid of. I like rock type. The fighting type is kind of worth it, but at the same time, not really. Oh, it's a difficult choice. And I already have a water type. That's the issue. I mean, doesn't Piplup eventually become water steel? Uh, he, he's got a decent move set. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll send him to the box for now. We'll, I'm sad about it because I really like this Pokemon, but I think it's the smart choice overall. I really, really do. Let's go ahead and battle. There's no mountain here, but I'm just a hike. Ha 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 ha. Here goes. Why are the laughs in this game typed out so weirdly? I don't understand it. Challenged by Hiker Daniel. Come on, Daniel. What do you got? Geodudes? Yeah, I figured so. My Piplup will roll through yo, Geodudes. Four Pokemon. Okay, let's go ahead. You know, Metal Claw works just as well. Let's go for it. Metal Claw. Boom. Easy peasy. That didn't do as much as I thought, but it wasn't stabbed, but it's fine now because now we can use our good old water gun. And before he gets rollout to too high, because it only does four damage, but each time rollout is used, it's more effective. But now his sturdy is in effect, so we can water gun and finish this guy off. Perfect. Please tell me you don't have just Geodude, so it's a guarantee two hits every time. Because I like to make my life a little easier. Easier. Is about to send out Machop. Ooh, now we'll keep him in for now. I mean, we could switch up, but at the same time, he's kind of our tank at the moment, Piplup. We want to make sure he has the best moves that we can. Peck's super effective. Let's go for it. I always forget sometimes that flying types are super effective on fighting types. Kind of an issue with me. Revenge? I mean, go for it. Ooh, that actually hurt a little bit. But Peck will finish him off this turn, so it's not going to be a big deal. I'm thinking he's going to send out probably another Geodude, maybe a Zubat. 
on his team. I'm just glad that he has a different sort of Pokemon instead of having just four Geodudes, because that would be annoying to deal with. Really, really would be. Always 32 would be horrible. Oh, look, another Geodude. Yeah, we'll, we'll switch. Come on out, Staravia. Just want to make sure we get some more XP on some of the Pokemon. We know we're going to try to keep on the team a little bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and... Ooh, I know... Nah, let's go with Wing Attack. I know none of these moves are super effective, but I'm trying to get some more XP on my guys. And that actually was less effective than I thought it would be. I thought it would do a little bit more damage. Rollout's gonna hurt, though, isn't it? Ouch. Yeah, super effective, too. I should go ahead and switch out. I know it's gonna get another Rollout in, but it's gonna be worse if I don't switch out. So I think our... Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's send in our boy Machop of ourself because it will be a good counter to it. And that way I'm using another Pokemon outside of my Piplup. Okay, Machop, you've got this, my dude. I might keep him as a Machoke, but not getting his full evolution is just really, really sucky for the simple fact that it makes him not nearly as strong. So let's go ahead and go with a good old low kick. Should be plenty of damage on this guy. Come on. And boom. Ooh, I nearly finished him off. And another rollout. How much is this going to do? It hurt last time. And ouch. Yeah, okay. Good thing we're going to finish him off because another rollout would be just too much. Four rollouts is a very, very dangerous game to play. And boom. Bye-bye, Geodude. Who do you got next? A good old Zubat or what? Come on. It's Bidoof. I'm really interested. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go out to our Star Ravia now that you want to bring out a Bidoof. Bidoof doesn't have a lot of weakness. I know fighting is one of them, but at the same time, we want to get that XP on everyone. Come on, Bidoof. You got this in the bag, Star Ravia. It's just a Bidoof. He's not very good. But Bale's all right, but I don't like the line. It's just not strong. So let's go ahead and go with the wing attack here for that stab. Come on, how much is this going to do? Oh, we one-shot that thing. Let's go. Sorry, Hiker Daniel. That was his name, right, Daniel? I think that was his name. Don't don't quote me on that. I might have forgotten. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Daniel, dude, level 14. Oh, yeah. Okay, Daniel, dude, level 14. I was like, oh, yeah, Hiker Daniel and Daniel, dude, level 14. <laughs> that was really confusing there for a second. Oh, yeah, a refreshing battle that was. $616. I will take it. Thank you for all the monies, my good sir. And guys, you know what? I think that's a great place to end off today's episode. We ended up defeating Team Galactic. We got a new encounter and we started our way to Eternity City. I hope you guys all did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys all did. I'll see you all later, Rockstars. Peace, peace.